But every classical tradition, particularly the ancient Egyptian, understood that the forces of nature are conscious. They can be communicated with. The human initiate reaches out to connect to them. And then the netter interacts with the person through particular forms held in the hand. The ankh represents life, for example. But there's much more to it. These things are actually geometric energy emitters, that the shapes that they represented actually were the forms that emitted specific vibrational powers. And you'll note that the forms are being introduced around the area of the person's sinus cavities. There's a direct connection to the pineal pituitary and all of the forces in the third ventricle of the brain, what was called the cave of Brahma, through the introduction through the sinus cavity. So the concept here is that the initiate is learning how to communicate with the netters and that geometric forms emanate specific types of energy that are a part of the initiation and allow them to manipulate the net.